My quest to make a, a biggie clone. Uh, so we'll be following a brew father recipe today. So we've got our grains. Um, we're gonna go with two American East Coast Ale yeasts and um, a lot of hops. So we've got uh, about 160 Galaxy, 160 of Amarillo, 80 of Vic Secret, a little bit of bittering hops, but uh, we'll see how we go. So in the grain today, we've got uh, 4.7 kilos of pale malt. 500 grams of oats, 500 grams of wheat, 50 grams of crystal. We'll start this mash, the insulation cover on, and I'll, um, I'll probably just cover this in a blanket and put the timer on for an hour, come back. Up to the boil, we'll get this timer on, we'll boil this out for an hour, and we'll come back and do some hop additions at the end. We boil gravity of about 10.36, so. Let's see how this goes when she boils out. Really bang on, it's nice and light. Uh, we'll get a closer look at that in the, when we take a gravity reading later to show you what the colour looks like. Um, we've got our new hop spider that we got this week, so we'll give that a whirl, which would be cool. We've, um, so for hops, we got rid of the bittering hops altogether. Um, um, when we're cubing, um, obviously I'm not cooling down the wort, so um, you know the, the hops stay on the beer longer. So we don't want to have a, a beer that's too bitter. So we've got rid of the bittering hops and we're just going to be adding 30 of Galaxy and uh, Amarillo. And we're just going to add these in pretty much at the end of the boil. Um, let this cool down to about 80 degrees. So we'll do a bit of a steep for about 20 minutes and then we'll put it into the into the cube and we'll see how we go from there. Um, we'll just while we're waiting, we'll just uh, sanitize in the cube and the funnel. To go, we're just going to put in half a teaspoon of yeast nutrient. Right, so we turned it off, um, got the hop spider in, and um, we're going to try and get this to about 90 degrees. And when it does get to 90, we're going to put the hops in and let it steep for about probably 20 minutes. Um, and then we're going to put this in the cube before it gets below 80 degrees. We're at about 90 degrees now, so we're going to put these, um, these hops in. And here we go. I already smell that. It's, uh, it seems to be bubbling away in there, but the aroma of that's pretty cool. Putting an eye on the temperature. I don't want to put this in the cube if it gets cold. So we're at about five minutes on the hop steep so far. We've dropped from about 90 to 88. It's going to take a little bit of time for it to drain as well. So um, I'll probably give it 10 minutes and we'll get this in the cube. Sitting at Nearly 10 minutes, it's at 80, 85 ish. I'm gonna really start getting this in the cube, I think now. It's gonna take a little bit of time to do that. Color of it, looks like a biggie juice color. <laughs> um, we'll get this in the cube now and we'll, and we'll get a gravity reading shortly. Yeah, yeah we'll do. And there's the color. Oh, the sun's in the way. But yeah, the color's pretty good. Very happy with it. I'm going to just give that hop spider a little bit of a jump around. It's still getting a bit low now. You can see all the, the leftover bits <laughs> that this spider's not going to, it's, it's going to hold and not go in the cube. So I'll just give that a shake. Just get a lot out of it. The hop spider. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. All that shit that's not going to go in my cube. So, didn't realize that's how much crap it puts in, but you know, considering that we we put them in the fermenter, it does that. We lose a bit of space. I think we'll be using hop socks next hop socks next time when we uh, use the fermenter. So uh, yeah, a lot of stuff that it holds up. Is uh, now I've done this. This is the third time. Uh, I'm getting a lot closer on these water numbers. Um, last time I was a little bit short. Well, the first time I was a lot short. This time I've probably still got a liter in there that's coming out, but. It's going to get right up to that 20 litre mark, which is what I'm trying to do. So I've got my water bang on now, which is uh, a lot simpler. There's a nice little etch, which is conveniently the um, like an etching on the side of the keg, which pretty much gives me the perfect amount of water. So nice and simple. So this is uh, full, which I'm happy with. I'm just going to roll this on the side. Just get it all up on the handle in there. It's all sanitised and it's on pretty tight. Uh, 
we'll drop this shortly. I should have this uh, IPA finished uh, soon, and then we'll um, be excited to get this biggie down. It's another brew day done, and um, yeah, can't wait to see how it goes. Right, but uh, very happy with it, the color of it. Uh, looks biggie like, which is a good start. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'll update you guys uh, next week on how this.